There is just eight miles that separate the two sides tonight as Wincanton Town host Gillingham in a local derby. The last time this fixture happened, it ended in a dramatic and chaotic 4-3 victory for the Wasps. And what a crazy night in Gillingham that was. But we're back at home tonight uh, and coming off the back of another 4-3 victory, actually, uh, against Bristol Telephones at the weekend. However, the visitors, in contrast, suffered a 7-2 defeat at the hands uh, of Halland. They've dropped down to 20 in the league Gillingham uh, so they'll be looking to bounce back tonight and win cat and of course uh, you know three games left we want to try and win um, hopefully all of them if that's possible uh, to try and consolidate that spot in the playoffs uh, before the end of the season so yeah uh, let's get over to more lane and hopefully uh, see win can to pick up another three points it's uh, got my personal guarantee for a bit of drama tonight uh, now I've said that it will be nil nil but, uh, we'll, we'll, but without further ado let's get over there come on you wasps Okay, here with Magic Chris, uh, big game today, local derby of course, coming off that win uh, on Saturday, for the confident? Yeah, yeah, I think um, we played democracy, the way that the fixtures went, it was only um, a few weeks back, obviously that we had the away leg, so um, yeah, that went well, but all being good and kind of putting a similar performance and uh, yeah, getting them free. Yeah, absolutely, you know, play, players out in recent weeks as well, it's been, it's been tough, but just digging in and getting through the end of the season. Yeah, we've got, we've got one or two back tonight, still nowhere near at kind of full strength yet. We've got one or two back, but as I said on Saturday, it's a chance for others to step up, and they did on Saturday and did really well. Um, so it's a chance to kind of do that again as we, um, yeah, another home game, another opportunity to get another win on the board. So, 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 so not as much chaos as last time. Kick off here in the derby. Come on, Winky, into him early. Let's go. Go on the ball. Ten minutes gone here at Moor Lane and it's been the majority win Canton so far, which is all good. The solitary uh, counter-attack for Gillingham so far. Uh, so yeah, we've had uh, a few corners and uh, control on this, so we want to capitalise for sure. Ten minutes gone, nil-nil. Ooh, nice. Yes. And just by pure shock of what happened, uh, I missed the opening goal. One nil to win Catton inside 13 minutes. Um, the keepers look rather dodgy up that end, and he's uh, shinned it straight out uh, to a yellow shirt and uh, a little bit of um, precision uh, to get around a couple of players and tap it in. Happy days. One nil to win Catton. Settled any derbiness that was in this. One nil to win Catton. Happy days. <laughs> just over 20 minutes gone here when Catton dominated uh, searching for that second goal now of course as we found out in the reverse fixture nothing is guaranteed until that final whistle uh, but yeah things looking good currently one up uh, and in complete control If I've gone here at Moor Lane, still 1 0 to win cut and balanced out a little bit in the last 10 minutes or so, but still uh, we've maintained that one goal lead.
Half time, Winky One giving them nil. Yeah, a comfortable first half for Wing Canton. The opening 20 30 minutes was uh, really comfortable, and uh, Wing Canton on the side really um, imposing any attacking threat. Balanced out a little bit for the, for the last 15 20 minutes of that first half. Uh, that goal uh, really came at a good time just to uh, just to settle any, uh, not nerves, but apprehension because of, uh, of course, you know, this is a derby, so anything can happen. But uh, we've got a, uh, a slender goal lead. Uh, we we'll want to be conscious that, um, of course, that may not last, but we want to get a couple more in the second half but overall first off we did what we needed to do let's get to the second half second half just got underway come on you wasps oh well done go on dicker oh well done second oh about 10 minutes or so into this second half no huge major chances for either side killing them are pushing though to get that equaliser as you'd expect uh, he's trying to finish these off here When Catton just struggling to maintain possession and keep hold of the ball in uh, attacking areas. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, Gilling made it difficult for us in this second half. Uh, we're going to try and impose um, authority over this once again. Uh, into the last 20 minutes now, I'd say. Come on, Winky. That's that second goal we were desperately searching for in the second half and it's a really cool calm and collected finish kept his composure uh, and just passed it in uh, to that vacant net really really needed that just losing control of it a little bit in midfield couldn't quite get hold of the ball uh, as much in the second half uh, and yeah that is what we needed a two goal cushion now entering the final stages must be about 10 to go here at Moor Lane and that two goal lead stands currently uh, looking relatively comfortable don't want to jinx it too much but uh, yeah it's been a controlled performance and a good performance from the boys tonight and let's just see it out in these final 10. Good turn, good turn. And that has made it interesting. Full one back, Gillingham 2-1. I've got no idea how long's left, can't be long. This is a derby after all, just hold on, wink out and hold on, can't be long to go. I think I've heard a minimum of six minutes added on here. Final defensive push boys, come on. That's the win, there we go. Win Canton 2, getting a 1. Just got back home and yeah, solid display from Win Canton tonight. Uh, wasn't the prettiest game of football, it never was going to be if we're totally honest. And uh, they got the job done, which is the main and imperative uh, objective of tonight's game. So that... Uh, a couple or uh, especially one really well worked uh, goal a bit of luck with the first one but you've got to be in the right place at the right time haven't you so uh, scored at the right times I thought you know to get that first goal uh, inside 15 minutes I think it was uh, was decent and just when Gillingham were beginning to gain a bit of confidence uh, with about 20 minutes to go just just to score that second goal uh, was crucially pulled one back which made uh, a nervy last six or seven minutes but uh, yeah it was all okay in the end Gillingham didn't pose too much threat in the final 
third and yeah happy days two games left now one game at home and then away on the final day of the season so a couple of games to look forward to but if you if you've enjoyed this vlog drop a like on it and subscribe to west ham unofficial if you're new and until the next one up the wasps and we'll see you soon bye bye